a mushroom as a cartwheel, in a landscape of vegetables and Parmesan cheese. What at first glance looks like a painting is actually real food, meticulously arranged and photographed. The mountains are made of bread, the houses of cheese and crackers, and the sea from fillet of salmon. The image was staged and shot by British photographer Carl Warner. He finds his inspiration at London's farmers markets. I started off coming to a market like this and I found a lo load of lovely big mushrooms and I got my camera right underneath the mushroom so I was looking up at it like a tree and that all of a sudden created this sort of this new world you know the scale of things had changed. What began as a hobby a decade ago has now become a significant part of his work as a commercial photographer. I look at things and think, what does it remind me of? What can I make from it? Uh, but I keep seeing the fish. You see flat leaf parsley, I see a tree, I see foliage. You know, if it's hanging down from the top in a corner of a picture. In his studio in London, Warner has made and photographed more than 40 food landscapes. His latest project is a train in a world of chocolate. What we've got here is a whole load of stuff which, um, for example, these bars here are going to make uh, for the railway sleepers. It's basically that. And then we're just going to step and repeat it all the way along so we get a big, nice, long track, and then our train is going to sit on top of that. Together with model maker Paul Baker, Warner creates the scene he will later photograph from a fixed camera angle. Each piece of chocolate must be in precisely the right place. Warner's sketch serves as a guide. So basically the ideas I come up with are in my head first of all. I see the scene that I want to do and I kind of pin it down in a sketch. So I have this little kind of notebook here where as I, I draw my ideas out and I can then go to my model maker or my food stylist and then show them the type of thing that I'm trying to achieve. Carl Warner studied art and planned to be an illustrator, but then he discovered photography and the possibilities it opened up. Employing his artistic skills, he created advertising campaigns for brands of rice or ice cream. A British television station had him replicate the sights of London. I use a lot of the devices of traditional painting or classical paintings in terms of composition and roads or, in this case, tracks leading us into the picture. So people are very familiar with those sort of landscape pictures, like postcards, you know, very classical painters that are painted in this way, the use of perspective and of lighting. So it's something they're very comfortable with visually. They automatically key into it and then have the double take that it's actually done with food. On average, he and his team work for two days to get that one perfect shot. But the advanced preparations, the sketches, planning, models, can take weeks. I don't think it's high art, and I don't think that, you know, big galleries will, would ever show this work. But I'm much happier with people putting it on their kitchen walls or on their dining room walls and, and enjoying it for what it is, you know. It's just pictures made out of food. There's no deep significant meaning to it. It's just visual pleasure with food. Around half his works are the result of ideas he's obsessed with. The rest are commissioned pieces. His latest one will be used to advertise a chocolate trade fair in New York. A land of plenty one of many that photographer Kyle Warner has created.